Corey Hankerson here, Legacy Tax and Financial Planning, author of End the Tax Nightmare, Insider Secrets to Beat the IRS and Reduce Your Tax Debt. So today I'm going to talk about currently non-collectible or IRS hardship status. What is currently non-collectible? Currently non-collectible is when you are able to convince the IRS that you are unable to make any payments towards your outstanding tax liability. And if they were to force you to make payments, it would cause you an undue financial hardship to the extent that you would be unable to pay for life's basic necessities, things like food, shelter, uh, transportation, uh, medicines. So if you can convince the IRS that if they were to take action to force you to pay your tax liability, things like uh, if they were to garnish your wages, for example, or if they were to force you into an installment agreement, then that would leave you in a state of economic hardship. Then it is very likely that you would be able to successfully request currently non-collectible. But how do you do that? In order to successfully uh, be placed in currently non-collectible status, you're going to need to provide documentation in order to substantiate your inability to make any payments towards your tax liability. So for example, you're going to need to file, um, you'll need to file a collection information statement. That's, I, that's one of the 433 series of forms. It's either going to be a 433A um, for an individual, a 433B for a business, or if you're dealing with the IRS's automated automated collection system, which is the toll-free number that you dial when you call in. If you're dealing with ACS, then they're going to require a 433F. Now, don't ask me why they want a 433F. No one else uses a 433F. It's only ACS, but they do require a 433F. So what that form is going to do is it's going to allow you to uh, list out your income, your expenses, and your assets. And from there, You'll you'll you begin the process of explaining why it is that you're unable to pay. Now, they're not going to just take your word for it. You're also going to have to provide documentation of your income. So you will need to provide pay stubs, bank statements, things like that. You also need to provide documentation of your assets. So they'll want um, uh, certain documents to prove how much you have in your bank account, for example, how much you have in your retirement account, how much you might have in an IRA. Do you have any cash value life insurance? All of those things will have to be uh, documented. And then finally, your expenses will need to be documented as well. So typically, they're going to require three months of your um, uh, mortgage statement, car notes, utility bills, all of those things, uh, typically three months of each of those items in order to provide a, a range or, or a more accurate picture of what your expenses are every single month. And if you can do that, if you can if you can prove, prove to their satisfaction that you don't have any money left over at the end of the month after you've paid all of your uh, necessary living expenses, then it is likely that they'll place you into uh, currently non-collectible uh, status. Now, what that means is you'll be required to make no payments toward the IRS to pay your taxes, um, and they won't come after you for any additional uh, levies, liens, or what they call enforced collection activity. Okay. Now, how long does that last? Well, it's not permanent. So CNC status is not permanent. It's usually going to be either for one year or two years, um, or it'll be based upon um, um, certain benchmarks. So for example, they may place you in hardship status until your income, for example, uh, surpasses a, a certain threshold. So let's say you're making 30 grand a year now and they place you in CNC. They may keep you in CNC until your income tops, let's say 40 grand. Now they're not going to tell you whether it's permanent or whether it's based on achieving a certain threshold, it'll be internal. So it's not something that the IRS is going to share with you. Um, so what that means for you is you won't necessarily know when you're about to come out of CNC, but there are ways you can kind of tell if you start getting uh, phone calls again, uh, either from ACS or from one of their private debt collectors, that's a clue that you're coming out of CNC status. So if you start to receive uh, collections notices, threatening levies and threatening liens and things like that. That's a clue, a definite clue that you've come out of a CNC status. All right. So that's it for today, guys. Uh, a little bit about currently non-collectible. To get more information, please don't hesitate to grab a copy of my book, End the Tax Nightmare, 
insider secrets to beat the IRS and reduce your tax debt. You can get a copy of the book by clicking the link below this video. It's down there in the description. It'll take you right over to endthetaxnightmare.com. You can download a copy of the book for free at endthetaxnightmare.com. You can also reach us by calling 1-877-LEVY-KING. That's 1-877-LEVY-KING, 877-LEVY-KING. Until next time, talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.